the cars. They can't satisfy you. All the sex, all the drugs, all the rock and roll cannot satisfy your soul. The only way you're going to ever be satisfied is for you to repent of your sin and surrender your heart to Jesus Christ. Oh, that's the only way you're ever going to be satisfied. Oh, you poor alcohol abusers. You poor alcohol abusers. May God have mercy on your wicked soul. Oh, you're trapped. You're trapped on a highway to hell. Oh, we're offering you an exit ramp. This is called an exit ramp off the highway to hell here tonight. But you won't get off the highway to hell. Why? Because you love the highway to hell. You love your wicked perversion. You love your internet pornography. You love your masturbation and whoremongering. You love all of that twisted, ungodly, wicked. Oh, poor God is just going to take his hand off of you. God is just going to turn you over to a slumber. Oh, you're going to have a deep sleep come over you. And it's going to be like you're going to be dumbed down dumbed down even more than you are now, then you won't be able to understand any of the messages that are out here. This it might as well be in hieroglyphics. Why? Because your brain is completely twisted. Your ability to make a, a righteous judgment has been perverted. <laughs> you call good evil and evil good. You're a twisted soul who has lost the ability to make rational, righteous judgment. Therefore, you are self-condemned, and the God of the Bible is going to cause you to be hardened in your heart. you got a hard heart. God's going to say, fine, I'm taking my hand off of you. Now you've got a judicially hardened heart, and you've become judicially blinded by the God of the Bible because you mocked the God of the Bible. You mocked the things of God. You don't have anything to do with the Word of God. And because of your attitude and your mockery, God's going to turn you over, turn you over to a reprobate mind and give you a heart of stone that you'll never be able to get right with God. You'll never be able to come to the cross of Jesus. You'll be forever condemned. Yes, you'll be like the walking damned. We're preaching to the walking damned who are heading straight down to the lake of fire. How are you going to escape the damnation of hell, you wicked, vile sinner? Oh, the only chance for you is the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. The only chance for you is to repent of your wicked lifestyle and give your heart to Jesus Christ. Oh, where are you tonight? Throwing you a lifeline, but you won't have any of it, sinner. We know you're not going to take the lifeline. We're throwing you. What are you going to end up doing? Throwing away. Drifting away into hell, drifting away into the life of damnation. Oh, you walk through your life like a zombie. Oh, you walk through your life blind. You walk through your life blind, deaf and dumb. Blind, deaf and dumb to the things of God. You're not sensitive to the Holy Ghost of God. You've turned away from the righteous path. You're on the path that leads to hell. Damnation and destruction. Unless you repent, you all shall likewise perish. That's the straight. That's the straight there from the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to get right with the God of the Bible. Jesus Christ is calling out to you tonight. Throwing you a lifeline, sinner man. And you're not going to get any more chance to get right with God. Oh, Jesus Christ is going to come back up and he's going to judge you. Oh, you're going to stand before God Almighty. And you're going to give an account of oh, every little mocking word you've ever said to the preacher man. You're going to give an account of your haughty, arrogant attitude. You're going to have to explain to God why you were too good for Jesus Christ. And why you love your kids. Oh, you love Satan. You serve Satan. Satan is your boss. Satan is your ruler. Satan is 
the dominating principle of your life. You're given over that state. You surrender this state. You might as well be, we might as well be preaching to the devil, worshiping so bad in Las Vegas out here tonight. Devil worshiping pervert, pedophile, so bad at the drunkard. Devil worshiping Shakespeare, demon possessed, wackos down here on the strip. Oh, you fool of the devil! You demonstrate the, how fool of the devil you are! You are in an absolute inhabited by demons! You need Jesus Christ! This whole demonic crowd needs to get right with God Almighty!
In the day wherein you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man is taught. And let him return unto the Lord. And the Lord will have mercy on him and he will abundantly pardon. You think God wants to cast your soul into hell? You think God wants to throw his creation into hell? But God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked might turn, but that the wicked might repent. Turn today and live, folks. Turn today and live. God's not happy with you. God's not overjoyed that you're down on Las Vegas Boulevard acting like a, a drunken sailor. Hello? Is anybody able to hear me? Hey, can you hear me? If you... Alright, if you guys are not a little bit nicer to us, me and my friends, we're just going to pack up all our stuff and we're going to go home right now. Thank you very much. Sound check. One, two, three. I'm glad you could hear me. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right. You're going to hell. You're on the list. You go to hell. If you're a Buddhist, if you're a sports nut, if you're a masturbator, if you're a liar, if you're a Catholic, if you're a religious hypocrite like this guy with the party hat on, some kind of homo weirdo, you're on your way to hell. Where there's weeping, and gnashing of the teeth. The Bible says where their worm never dieth, and where the fire is never quenched. You're gonna burn, 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 forever and ever and ever. You're not gonna be welcomed into heaven in the loving arms of Jesus, just waiting to hug you and tell you how much he loves you. No, he's gonna say, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire. Fire! Oh yeah! You having sex out of marriage, young lady? You're on your way to hell. You having sex with that girl, with that boy? Or maybe you're having both sex with both of them. You're on your way to hell. You need to repent. You need to turn. You need to obey the Bible. God's called you to obedience. Not just prayer and say, oh, Lord, please help me. No, you need to show some biblical fruit. You need to show some biblical fruit. Hey, wise guy, where's your Bible? I got my Bible. Hey, wise guy, where's your Bible? Yeah, I got my Bible. Where's your Bible, wise guy? Oh, you're a homo. You're a closet homo. That's what you are. You're a closet homo. I'm not going to open it. Why don't you close your mouth and open your Bible? Why don't you close your mouth and open your Bible? You're so convicted you can't even leave. You're so convicted you can't even leave. You got to stay and say something. See, the, the power of Jesus preaching demands a response. The power of Jesus preaching demands a response from a hypocrite like you. From a hypocrite like you. Weeping. Wailing. And gnashing your teeth forever and ever. It'll never stop. What's funny about hell, smarty pants? I don't know. What a brilliant answer. You're so bright. Is that why they called you son when you were born? Oh, I don't know how to answer you. No, I am not intelligent, but I know the one who created intelligence. His name is Jesus. What are you going to do when you stand before Jesus? What are you going to say to Jesus, drunkard? You need to repent and prepare to meet thy God.